Cave Junction, Oregon. We are here today to clean up some tires out of the rivers. Get them out of the waters, the woods, all the nooks and crannies, and just start pulling them out and recycling them in the proper way. We're finding tires left and right, and this is our best tire cleanup yet. This stands today and hands down that we pull out the most, you know, trash and tires and waste matters out of place that shouldn't be in the river. We have a special guest today, Bobby Snodgrass, who helps out with this truck and his time and points out the locations of areas that we should be going to from the Mapleton cleanup to here. So it was only right to have him on the the vlog, you know, have him have him on the internet, the interweb. So it's going to be a wild adventure because there's a lot of like uh, people living in the woods and you know tweaker village and stuff like that so we'll see how it all goes we're pulling off right now all right we'll see you <laughs> Look at this, dude. You know? Look at that. All right, we're already up 11 tires right here. At this spot, we'll make it 13. And look at the size of these. Medium size tire. Oh. Get my knee up. Oh, these are good tires to get out right yeah, here. This is impressive. I mean, nobody's going to come and get this. Never, never. Yeah, this is just you can sit there, rot it away. Thirteen. Wow. Look at that. That was basically like a big rig tire that we just removed, and if Bobby and I weren't here for that then these tires would have been here for ever. But we're at 13 for the day so far. Take a guess at how many you think we'll get. Found another tire in the woods. We're just driving the BLM land right now, so it'll be really interesting. We'd gotten 13 tires earlier, and um, this is basically what it looks like. There's trash everywhere. People just throw trash wherever and just dump it down the sides of the hill. You can hear the river in the background and stuff. So all of this trash just goes straight into the river. And, you know, I just wanted to say, I feel bad for not picking up all the micro trash, but we can only do so much. So we're just here for the tires. And hopefully somebody sees this video that lives in the area that can talk to the BLM or the town or something and get it taken care of. You know, this is basically, we're just shining a light kind of on it. Hopefully it goes well. One with a rim, so those always are a pain in the neck for jumping. Let's head on down the road and go check some more rivers. And even though this one was above the river, stuff still leeches down into the waters and stuff like that and hurts all the fishes you know so every tire helps each one one at a time that's how you get this stuff done let's also see how many tires that we get in 2024 um yeah put your numbers below of what you think i don't know right now i'm gonna just hope for that this year in 2024 that we get 365 which would mean basically we were getting one each day but hopefully we surpass that number but hopefully at least 365 that's what i'm tr i'm trying for but put your guess below because this will be a lot of fun at the end you know all right we got two loaded up let's roll 
Don't worry, Meredith, not without dropping some more flowers, we ain't leaving yet. So we'll just see what happens up this road, you know? Yeah, all this trash right by the river. You can see the creek right there. And look, there's another tire right there. One right there. And all this, if we look across the way. So let's just at least start grabbing the tires and getting them out here, you know? Another one with a rim. Three more, we're up to five on this little road by the river and stuff. Again, there's so much trash, but at least we're getting the tires out. So I wanted to come up the hill, up the mountain some, and check above the river to see what's being dumped up there and leaching down. And so when I look over this hill, right away, one way down there, down there, down there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb down there and go pull those up and see how many that we get out because we don't want all that runoff going into the rivers and stuff like that. Plus animals start living in in the tires and such. And I don't know if you had, like if I had shown the pictures yet of all the dead animals that were around all the trash, you know, something's going on there. I mean, who knows what, it was like the twilight zone and everything, you know? So we're helping out for sure, you know? much all just straight downhill. Hopefully the camera picks it. That's how high we gotta climb back up. This one has a rim too, so it's gonna be a challenge most definitely. Six more right now, so we got five in the truck and six right here, that's 11 plus the 13 from earlier today with Bobby. So we're up to 24 tires. So let's see if we can squeeze all of these in and get them to Les Schwab so we can recycle them and everything. I wanted to say this was one of them that I was really happy about getting out because look at how deteriorated it is and you can still see the metal. There's all sorts of ways that an animal could get, get their head caught in there, seriously just get hurt somehow or be eating all this little stuff munching on the wrong things. All 10 are in there. I got the 11th one right here. I'm gonna put it in the front seat just so we can get it out. You can still see the moss growing off of it and the little ferns and everything. We just dropped the tires off. We're here at Les Schwab and um, yeah, they're all disposed properly. And I wanna say thank you to Jay Romano, not Ray Romano, but Jay Romano who helped pay for the tires to be disposed at a local business that was helping support tire dump in this local area and stuff like that. But I wanna say thank you again. Where we see all this trash, it's right by, I mean, this insulation and everything in tires is right by the water right over here. I mean, I'm just feet from it, you know? So that's why this is important. All this stuff is just leaching down into the water. So let's get this out of here and uh, leave Heap City for a little bit and go to the next tire spot. I see one all the way down here. So I'm gonna run down and grab that. Let's hope it doesn't have a rim. <laughs> it's got a rim. <laughs> Number two for the day. It's got a rim. All right. Now 
number three with the rim. Oh, with the rim, yeah. Another tire with the rim in this little waterway sort of creek sort of thingy. But we're gonna get this out of here. Up to four tires this morning. Three of them have rims and let's go to the next little spot we just look at through the woods. I bet you there's a fourth one down there because if there was three, obviously the car's got four, so there's probably four down there. I might just poke around for a second before we head out. Got those in, so now we're up to eight. And I gotta say, those last tires, boy, they smelled like puke so bad. And just different funky stuff. I couldn't even believe putting them in the truck, but I was just like, you know, it was just nasty and I had to share that, <laughs> you know. Let's head down and grab a couple more. All right, we got five. Five more right here. And one, two, three, four with rims. All right, I'm just gonna scope around here a second and see if there's any more hidden. It's a guaranteed pretty much that stuff here is killing, killing animals and killing the water. Again, I'm not a scientist, but I can pretty much guarantee that the problem is coming from right here. And this is one of the many roads that has this situation. So here's the trash piles and the tires that we just pulled out, and there's the river, there's the water. All this goes to the Illinois River, and it goes through Kirby, Selma, Cave Junction, hits the Rogue River, and all that. So this is a major water source for Southern Oregon. All these little like ravines and all these little creeks and stuff. Right over there. How are we gonna get that? I don't even know how deep is this. Six more tires, and one, two, three, four, five of them with rims. So we're loaded up with what we can carry, and we got 10 total in here, uh, four that I have to come back and pick up that still have rims. But we really pulled out a lot. We pulled out six more tires from here to 14 for the day, which is incredible. But I'm gonna go drop these off at Les Schwab. All right, we're back to pick up the last couple tires. On the, the last run that we just did, my power steering went out. And thank you again, Les Schwab at Grants Pass. Terry, you hooked it up, you worked hard on it, and thank you. We're able to keep collecting these tires because of you. Rock on, brother man. So here we go. All right, there we go. So let's head back to Les Schwab to drop these off. And um, yeah, get this all done. We're out here even in the night. Rain, sleet, or snow, this schmo is still coming to get tires. 